Hello people, Parul Banga here and I am going to talk to you today about goals and goal setting. What? Another coach talking about goals and goal setting in the new year? Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to tell you what you should be doing with your goals. I want to share with you how my relationship and my interpretation of goals has changed over the last few years and how the concept of goal setting applies to the work I do and also in my personal life. So point number one, I do goals, but my goals are not, they are not aligned to the new year. So I have three goals for 2020, but I actually started working them towards the end of 2019. I don't believe that we have got to wait for the turn of the year to start pursuing certain goals. Point number two, I don't do long-term goals anymore. Now, if you knew me 10 years ago or 15 years ago, you would have heard me talk about oh, how my life would be 10 years in the future or 20 years or 30 years. I wouldn't be surprised if I talked to some of you about a retirement plan when I was 25 or 30. I used to do long-term goals back then. I don't do that anymore. That is one of the big things that have changed for me after going through and surviving cancer because hey we don't really know what's going to happen in life in two years or five years or ten years well we don't know we don't have that certainty even about tomorrow but I still do goals because they bring in a certain focus and a certain structure to what I'm working on in a particular moment so I do goals but I do them for six months or maximum for a year. So I do have a vision for 2020, but nothing beyond that. Point number three, how I measure my goals has changed completely. And I would say that this is a point that has changed. This is something that has changed very recently based on a lot of coaching that I've done for myself, a lot of coaching that uh, I have experienced as a coachee. Now before, I used to measure how well I have achieved those goals based on the end results. So if let's say I were talking about my coaching business, I would look at the revenue, which is obviously a strong parameter that you can gauge your business on. Or if I were talking about helping people be seen and heard through their stories, I would look at the number of people whose lives I have touched as a story coach but now some of those parameters have changed now what I look at is did I honestly get up every day and did the best I could to pursue those goals so now the focus is on the action and doing it to the best of my ability every single day without any alibis, without any excuses. Because now, what I consider is, if I were to get up every day and pursue my goal to the best of my ability, I would achieve those numbers. It's just a matter of time. And the focus is on taking action and the focus is on the journey that is going to bring me from where I am to where I want to be. So that's goal setting for me. I do goals. I don't align them to New Year time because I don't think we've got to really wait for a particular time on the calendar to start pursuing what's important to us. I don't do long term goals. And my focus now is on the action that I am taking to achieve and be where I want to be. So I'm very keen to hear from you. What are your goals? Is there anything in particular that you're working on in 2020? I'm working on scaling my group coaching program, Stand Up and Share My Story. And uh, to be able to do that, I'm running a five day free challenge in January. So if storytelling and visibility through speaking is on your agenda for the year, come and check it out. I'm going to drop the link to register for the event in the comments below the video. I look forward to hear from you. Take care, guys. I'll speak to you soon.